Ok, with all the symbols ready to be used, now we need to go to the object which we want to apply the symbols to. Click on the 3D Extrude and Bevel effect here in the Appearance panel, and in this window, click on the Map Art button. 3D objects consist of a number of surfaces, and each of them can be art mapped separately. And you can pick which surface you want to work with by clicking through them here. I will start with this surface. Now I need to go to the list of the available symbols here and pick one which I want to use. It will be added here in its original size. Now I can scale it. There is a button scale to fit, but I don't recommend using it because it distorts graphics to fit into the shape here. Instead, scale and move your graphics manually. Find the edge of the bounding box and holding down the shift key, scale it to the desired size. Make sure it covers the whole surface if that is your intention. This process is pretty fiddly, but it's better than nothing. To apply graphics to the surface in a more realistic way, check shade artwork here. It might take more time to render, but it will look much better in the end, and it will take into account the shading settings of the object. If you want to delete the symbols you've applied, you can click clear here. This will remove the symbol from the selected surface. If you click Clear All, it will remove symbols from all of the surfaces instead. When graphics is wrapped around an object like this, inevitably you will get a sim. So if you're using a pattern, either try to match sides carefully, or after applying the symbol here, rotate the view of the object in the main effect setup window to hide the sim. Experiment with applying graphics to different surfaces, and see what you can make with it.